Hi everybody, this is Anita, Art from the Heart, and I have a new journal I made and I thought I would share it here. Um, I'm not sure whether I'm going to gift it or whether this will be my first one to sell because some of my neighbors said I should start selling, but I'm still praying about it. So if anybody wants to give input, as to where to sell, how to sell, if I decide to with a comment, that would be great. So here I go. This um, journal is three and a half by five. It has 27 pages. Front and back would be 54. This is a fun, just, you'll just have to see. I won't spoil it yet. Um, I just really felt led to create it this way. And the other thing I'd like to share before I get started is um, I'm trying something new that a friend of mine shared how her husband did it. And so my great awesome husband did something similar so I could use the tripod that our sister in love, my sister in love, my husband's sister gave us. So here we go. Let's see if I can make this work. You'll see there's a vintage picture on the front with two vintage buttons and a vintage circle that's kind of like um has let me get up close uh different i don't know it's kind of like a cord wrapped around it and then it's tied all along the edges it's kind of cool i uh have a little satin ribbon whoops it's hard i'm not used to this yet here um that you all can see and I kind of like that. And there's cheesecloth around the edges. And the spine is um, both stitched and also sewn, like a signature would be. And it, then it's stitched again. It's corrugated cardboard. I love the texture of it and the dimension of it. Stitched here all around and the back has um like a metallic paint that i felt led to use i'm afraid i may be getting too close forgive me like i say this is a first for me i'm just hoping i stay in frame so the little clip really kind of matched the cover and it's it's different than a clothes pin it has a real heavy duty spring and I, I don't know why, I just felt led to close it here because I did not want to um, put anything that would cover up the picture. So there, you can see. All right, here we go. Here's what the inside looks like. And by the time you add things to it, it'll be more chunky and I'm excited. I love coffee stained paper and I like tea stained paper too. And there's just a couple of other kinds of paper in here also. There's a little heart, as you can see, and um, there's two pockets here. There's this pocket and there's a really fun little pocket here that you could like put secrets in. You can see that. And then in the pocket is a journaling card. Tuck it in. There is a piece of vintage type paper with a butterfly and I like the colors to go with the journal. You can write on it, fold it up and tuck it in. I think I like it this way. I'm kind of picky <laughs> and here is a fun postcard, vintage, and you can write on the back of it too. So there you go. Um, I didn't title this with anything. I think I'd love it if you just want to name it or leave it alone. Um, but this was made in reference to a friend, if I gift it, that you might want to gift it to. Um, and if I'm led to do it, I will be doing the same thing. I use some of the fun scissors with edging so you can see the edge of the paper there. And the first one is two vintage friends. 
that are really very stylish and the word style peeks out of this little tab and next is a fun verse I love God has blessed me with your friendship more vintage paper that is copied it's not originally vintage writing space and of course hugs are enclosed more writing space and all the pages as you can see have been layered in different lengths and sizes do small things with great love i love to do things like that this page has a border that's somewhat vintage and i kind of liked that on the edge life is better with friends I'm sure we would all agree to that. And as you can see, there's just different stains. This is actually uh, food coloring, and it has a hint of yellow. You can't be sad when you're holding a cupcake, that's for sure. Vintage suitcases. Another little verse. So many thoughtful things you do. I'm glad I've got a friend like you. More of the vintage paper, writing space, another little verse with God, all things are possible. That's for sure, especially in times like this. I like me when I'm with you. Little flower stamp, and I love the edge of this. More little writing space, vintage at the top little hearts I love the stamp it's a vintage shoe let me see if I can bring it up closer to you I just think that's super cool and I love the edging the way the coffee edged that life does not have to be perfect to be wonderful Every day may not be good, but there's something good in every day. You know, we just have to look for it, don't we? I've got butterflies just thinking of you. I love you more. And this is something, I don't know why, I was just led to create this. I've never seen anybody do it. Oops, I gotta go back and tack this to the side sorry about that but it will be tacked to the side when it's given for sure share your heart and there's a little heart there you see that and it's it's the idea of something that springs out and I thought oh boy I like that idea with these two little pages so maybe this is something someone else has done. If not, I guess I created it. Another little page. Here's the spine. And I tied it with satin ribbon like is on the front. More little pages, a heart and a little tiny flower. Enjoy the little things in life. And here we go, this spring is right. Let's see what it says. You're the best. You're the best. And I purposely put it out here with the little tab. And then it springs closed. Another page. You are my happy. More writing space. There's nothing better than a friend unless it's a friend with chocolate. little stamp wreath sorry if you hear my husband in the back <laughs> he got a phone call never apologize for who you are and again I love some of the paper that's edged it's kind of cool you guys can kind of see here two ladies hanging out it's a vintage pattern stamp here I love you to the moon and back. 
little stamp. Let your light so shine. And that's so important right now, isn't it? It's always important. No gift can compare to a friend who's always there. That's for sure. I'm an only child, so I love friends. More edging that I kind of think is cool. Another little flower. This is pretty funny. I'm willing to risk the cooties if you are. I guess during COVID times we wouldn't want to do that, but the rest of the year it would sure be fun, or I should say the re when there's not COVID times. <laughs> Some vintage shoes that are super cool. Another verse. May every day be a celebration of the heart. Another pattern, another cool pattern. It would remind me of a friend from ages back. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. And there's a little heart at the end. You could color in if you wanted. I just felt led to leave everything in the natural colors. Writing space. When I count my blessings, I think of you. This is kind of um, not real dark. The stamp didn't stamp perfectly, but the more I thought about it, I liked it because sometimes one of our friends takes us with them and they're the ones that keep us going. They pull us right along. So friendship isn't a big thing. It's a million little things. I love this. This is kind of vintage stores. There's an art gallery, antique store, a bakery, and another fun pattern in the vintage coffee dyed paper. To you with love, whoever you're sending this to, you could sign it. You could write a little message here, however you want. There's a little envelope in here that secrets could be tucked in. Another journaling card. And here's the back again. I love the way the black kind of metallic-y paint turned out. And the spine. And the front. Um, if I decide to sell it, I will uh, list it in my Art From The Heart Facebook page, um, and I'll put a price, and I do take pen pal. So we'll just see what happens, whether I gift it or whether I um, put it up for sale, because I've never done that before. So, well, it was fun being here with you today and trying out my new tripod, and I hope it works. Much love to you guys today, and be blessed. See you later. Thanks. Bye.